call. During a backyard news conference this morning, Tea Party members said they thought that 10,000 signers of the tax cut election petition deserved an explanation as to why the petition was denied. In his brief order to cancel the election, which had been set for May 15th, Judge Gutterman only said that the arguments raised by the city council were well grounded. We will follow three remedies that are available to us. One is an appeal to the Supreme Court of Virginia. The second is a federal action under the civil liberties laws of the United States. And third, we will pursue litigation, uh, legislation to correct any confusion that exists in state law. The Tea Party wants to reduce the city's tax rate by 30 percent, from $1.62 per $100 valuation to $1.15. Although members are disappointed by the decision, they say the citizen-initiated tax cut movement in Norfolk is not dead. We don't feel like that uh, we've lost this. Uh, we, as uh, Howard was mentioned a while ago, we have gotten counsel to uh, publicly announce that they are going to shoot for at least a dollar thirty rate. Now that's a thirty-two cent reduction. So, you know, we've we've already won a battle. We just haven't won the war, and the war is not over. <laughs> Mayor Vincent Thomas says he's sorry the matter of a tax cut election ever went to court because it appeared to pit the city against its citizens. But the city didn't stop the election, the mayor says. The law did. And the job of changing the law belongs to the General Assembly. Joan Gartland, Area 10 Eyewitness News, Norfolk.